If you don't step forward and make a move, you'll always remain in the same place. You gotta get outside of your comfort zone and start moving towards your goals. You have a face for television. Why are you on the radio? <laughs> well, I'm working on that television vision. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why Kelly Mack is like one of my most favorite people aside from my daughter is because she's real, she's honest, she's trustworthy, and she will say things that nobody else will say. And she's not afraid of grew up listening to her. She was that personality. She was that radio talent. When you thought about radio in Greenville, you thought about that Kelly Mack in the midday. And when I tell you, man, like she changed so many lives for so many, not only single parents, but families across the upstate. Sometimes elevation requires elimination. In some instances, we have to eliminate certain people, things, or habits so we can elevate to our next level. <laughs> Kelly, you keep um, announcing it and it just resonated in your mind, you know, you have to come see this because she would make you remember to come out and to support the, um, the event that was going on. Regarding disaster relief, also credit information and hey, you want to be a homeowner? This is the place to get the information. I'll be like you because you're the best. Oh, thank you. What's your name? Sunshine. Sunshine? How old are you? I'm sick. I did not know that you wrote Butterflies by Michael Jackson. Why? Why? <laughs> why? No, do you know what? Uh, to whoever doesn't, it's, um, because I have heard that before. Mm -hmm. It just sounds like, oh, Flo Tree did a version on their album, and it's not a version. It's really my demo mm -hmm. that Michael, Michael, like I know him. I do, though. <laughs> Michael, yes. MJ, my <laughs> homie, um, that he heard before our album came out. Mm -hmm. So this was the demo that stemmed the conversation that Michael Jackson calls down to the studio and is looking for that British girl that wrote that song. I actually met him back in South Carolina and I was the only broadcaster in the state of South Carolina to be granted an interview with him. And I was so nervous, I started texting everyone saying, oh my gosh, I'm getting ready to interview President Obama. And they were like, no way, no way, no way. And I, what should I ask him? And everyone just started coming in with their questions and the interview went really, really well. He's talking right. about his mama. And he's talking about his mother. And you know, that's a lot of weight that he's been carrying around for all these years. Yes. All right, so here's the deal. In a recent interview with Q Magazine, Kanye West expressed his guilt in the passing of his mother, Donda West, who died back in 2007 from complications of a plastic surgery procedure. Now, when asked what he sacrificed for his fame, Kanye replied, quote, my mom, Aww. end quote. If I had never moved to LA, she'd be alive. He went on to say that he didn't want to go into details as to why he feels responsible for his mother's death because it would bring him to tears. Mike Epps, Valentine's Day. Valentine's what does it mean for the Day. men versus the women? Valentine's Day, that means the man need to run the ladies some bath water, uh -huh. put a little dishwashing liquid Ew. in Ew. <laughs> Infection. Put a little palm olive in there. Oh no. She's gonna say, baby, you got me smell like a plate this year. Uh. And I listen to Kelly Mack all the time, we drive at five all the time, um, after school. I am from Asheville, North Carolina. Okay. I listen to you every day. It's good to meet you. It's good to meet you. Yeah. It's good to meet you. I'm Diana Watson. And I'm Kelly Mack. After a week of protest, I went down to the car during lunchtime. And I forgot the song that you played, mm -hmm. but you played an inspirational song that broke me down so that after I wept, that my heart was so doggone blessed mm. that I called my sister up and I said, that doggone Kelly Mack, God bless her. Thinking about middle school dances with boys to men. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes, they take you back and then they really kind of start making you feel a little bit old because you know that hit song, I'll Make Love to You yeah. with 21 years old? Oh man, I feel old, great. Yes.